Work Otter. My name is Nick Matucci. I'm your host for this series. And this is a quick start guide so you can get to know Work Otter in the most efficient way possible while learning the best practices that we offer. Now, Work Otter is a simple, sensible, and supportable project resource and portfolio management system. And in this first video, we're going to really go through an executive overview. We're going to talk about the processes enabled by Work Otter and how they interoperate to deliver an overall solution. In the course of doing that, though, uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't give you a little bit of a history lesson because it's important to you all as potential or current customers of Work Otter. So Work Otter was born from EY Consulting or Ernst & Young. And before we started programming, we traveled the country as consultants that implemented project and portfolio management. Now, mostly that was a process-based delivery, but at some point, clients would always ask us, you know, what tools can you recommend? And as we looked at the tools available, we noticed something consistent. They were overblown, overpriced, expensive. They were hard to implement. They were hard to support. Um, now, some organizations were able to get through all that, but many couldn't. So we decided the market really needed a simple, sensible, and supportable alternative that still matched up with the features that people wanted. And we used everything we learned from the years of consulting and traveling the country dealing with literally hundreds of different customers. Now, what does WorkOtter enable? Well, WorkOtter enables these processes or mega processes and it really begins with intake and governance. So intake is the pre-project requests that represent future opportunities and these pre-project requests could be very small things that just end up becoming changes on existing projects or just tasks on existing projects because the clients that enter them don't always understand what's the difference between a project and a task and a change. Right? So it just gives you a consistent inbox. Uh, but some of the bigger ones could maybe go through a business value assessment. Right? Maybe you want to be able to score these. Maybe you want to be able to send them around to managers and collect estimates and build a little mini business case. So we give you a modern, simple governance capability right out of the box with all the best practices enabled. Now, some of those become project management. Right? So project management really encompasses uh, building your team, having a plan, being able to do your raid logs like risks and actions and issues and decisions, being able to um, collaborate with your team members which covers the team and time collaboration piece here. And then many organizations also would like to have a better understanding of the financials, being able to set a budget, being able to see the labor versus non-labor coming from the plan. You know, if you bill external clients, being able to track your profit or loss. So this is all built in into Work Otter. Okay, now resource management is one of the things that everybody seems to want. That's really the understanding of the supply versus demand of your human resources over time. Now Work Otter builds that resource forecasting by just taking the things you're probably already doing today. You know, we can look at your plans and analyze them and build a forecast out of them. We can see the people in the system and how many hours a week they work and understand what your supply of resources is. So literally with no additional work, Resource management is an organic output of just using a system like ours. Now, portfolio management is probably our most popular feature. It's really a mashup of project and resource management. So it's think of it as a road mapping tool where you can lay out your projects on a timeline and see how they impact your resources by team or by person. And then sandbox that data and do your what if scenarios by dragging and dropping projects or parts of projects around to see the impacts on your resources. So the center of this is what most people find the best part of Work Otter. It's the dashboards and the reports. So having compelling visualizations and dashboards that can be easily distributed automatically, that animate and encourage people to want to use them, uh, becomes a critical capability these days. So this provides an executive overview of the things you can expect to learn and see through this video series and we'll walk you through the basics step by step